Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you model answer for Edexcel Physics Unit 1, June 2017 paper. Let's start from MCQs. This is question number one. Which of the following is a vector quantity? Distance, speed, velocity, and the work and the work done. Out of these four, velocity is the vector quantity that needs direction as well as magnitude. So your option is C. Question number two, which of the following is the unit of upthrust? An upthrust is a force acting on an object while immersed in a liquid. So upthrust is the force, so it must have the same unit as that of the force. So your option is D. Next, question number four, a small stone of the mass M is dropped into a pond and accelerates down downwards with an acceleration a the free body diagram for the stone is shown so this is free body diagram this is stone downward weight is acting which is mg in upward direction we have a two forces up thrust and drag so which of the following equation is correct for the stone as the stone is accelerating down meaning weight is greater than up thrust plus the drag. That means difference between these two forces will give you the net force and net force F is basically MA and which should be the difference between these two forces and remember W is basically MG. That means MG minus U minus D must equal to net force. So in these options, if you see the D, Mg minus U and minus D is equal to net force. So your option is E. Let's see the next question. Question number 5 and 6 refer to the information below. A student throws a ball vertically upward and catches it after 4 seconds. The student's data is used to plot a velocity time graph for the ball. Okay, this is velocity time graph. And the initial velocity of the ball is 15 and the ball is going up and this is the point where ball reaches at the maximum height where the velocity is 0 and now ball is coming down with the opposite velocity and you catch it after 4 seconds here. Okay, so using the graph, what is the acceleration of the ball? It's quite easy because you are given velocity time graph and the velocity time graph for velocity time graph whatever the graph is gradient gives you acceleration that means you just need to find the the gradient of this graph so gradient for this graph gradient is you can find Fifteen minus zero divided by zero minus two. That means minus fifteen over two, which is equal to minus seven point five. And it is obvious that because you see the graph must have a negative gradient that means acceleration must be minus 7.5 so our option is B next for the same condition but in this case they are asking you using the graph what is the total distance traveled by the ball total distance the total distance is area under the first triangle as well as area under the second triangle and both triangles are same in shape and size so I'm going to find area of the one triangle and times two can give me the total area or the total distance so area is half of base in this case the base is two okay times height and height of the triangle is 15 that means 
2, 2 gets cancelled. Answer is 15. That means the area of the one triangle is 15. So the second triangle area is also 15. So total distance is 15 plus 15. That means your option of the distance is B. An object of the weight W is on, is on a slope at an angle of theta to the horizontal as shown. The normal contact force is R. This is inclined plane case. And uh, of course, in inclined plane, if you keep increasing the angle, if you keep increasing the angle, the reaction force keeps decreasing. So as theta increases, R will decrease. R will decrease, but we have a two option with R will decrease, decrease. But if you see, R will decrease because of R equal W cos theta. And you know, the component of the weight parallel to the R is basically W cos theta. So your option is A. Question number eight. A cylinder of weight 1.5 Newton is placed on top of the vertical spring and the spring compressed by 3 cm shown. What is the spring constant? And you know a spring constant, the relation between a spring constant and the force F equal K X and X is the extension. So K is equal to force over extension. Force is 1.5, which is given here, divided by extension. Extension is 3 centimeter. Remember, don't forget to change centimeter into meter divided by 100, and it will give you 0 0.03. If you multiply, if you divide these, K will give you 50. That means your answer for K is 50 Newton per meter. So option is B. Question number 9. The path of the projectile is shown. Launch position and the landing position. And from the diagram it is clear that the landing position is lower than the launch position. And it is uh, clear in this statement. The projectile landed at a high height lower than the height from which it was launched. Okay, so assuming that there is no air resistance on the projectile, which of the following is a constant, correct statement, sorry, for correct statement. So in this case, for us, is important thing is we have no air resistance, so we can neglect the air resistance. Let's see the option. At maximum height, the horizontal velocity is a minimum. Now, for projectile, if air is negative, Thing. meaning throughout the motion horizontal velocity remains same so A cannot be our option for B at the maximum height the vertical velocity is maximum for projectile at maximum height vertical velocity is always zero that's why it stops there C the initial horizontal velocity is equal to the final horizontal velocity yes it, it is our option basically horizontal velocity remains same throughout the motion. So our option is C. Let's see the last question. A constant resultant force acts on an object. Which of the following graph is correct for the motion of the object? Constant resultant force. If there is a resultant force, F is not equal to zero that means we must have acceleration acceleration cannot be equal to zero if acceleration is not equal to zero that means velocity of the object should be increasing okay so distance time graph and it is a straight line but we have acceleration so a distance time graph of accelerated motion is not a straight line it's a curve so it cannot be our option Loss distance graph, we don't uh, see these kinds of graph for the meantime. And acceleration distance time, acceleration distance time graph, of course, uh, it's not 
in our study but if you see the velocity time graph is a straight line and you see the gradient gradient is is a constant which is evident from can from the given condition the constant resultant force cause constant gra constant acceleration so option is c that means option is c okay that's it for for now uh, in the next video i will solve uh, rest of the question thank you have a good time